What's up guys, Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Wrench. Today's gonna be a little bit of a hot take. Just picked up the new batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B521. This bottle has not gotten the best reviews. I'm always super excited about getting the newest batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's easily one of my favorite batches, but I've been watching a lot of reviews. A lot of the first reviews are coming out and they are not the prettiest, okay? People don't seem too excited about this batch, and it kind of got me nervous. You know, I'm excited and nervous to get into it just from what I've heard. Um, I figured instead of listening to the reviews that I was just going to test it myself and, and see what the hype or lack of hype behind this bottle is all about. thought it would only be fair to, to compare this B521 to A121 and to last year's B batch just to see how it compares kind of see if there is a decline going <laughs> where it started from just to see if the year 2021 is the new 2020. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Let's kind of see what this is all about. I opened this bottle a few days ago when I got it uh, just to kind of let some air get into it so I wasn't just coming into this on a fresh bottle. Give it a fair chance, you know? Especially with what I've heard about it, I figured it needed all the opening up it could get. So let's just see. You know, I'm kind of nervous. When You know, I, I love that bottle so much. I love Elijah Craig. So when you hear negative reviews, you're kind of like, no, nah, no way. You're wrong. It can't be bad. And then you watch another review and they say the same thing and you're like, oh no, something could be going on here. Let's find out. Yeah, you know, First thing you notice on the nose is a strong oak and not like a toasted delicious burnt barrel oak we're talking like wet wood oak okay it's just a strong oakiness coming through it this is the lowest proof batch 118.2 proof 59.1 percent and it kind of shows on the nose it it's not coming off aggressive at all so you start to set expectations you know each batch of Elijah Craig barrel proof you know the bar is set so you have at least an idea okay it's got to be at least that good and then where it you know falls on the ladder from there is just personal preference so when I go to smell this and it's not reaching my expectations of what Elijah Craig barrel proof is that is what's disappointing to me so it's not where I expect Elijah Craig to be. This is not what I expect a batch to be. Even if it wasn't my favorite batch, you know, I would at least expect it to cross that, that bar that had been set. And this one kind of falls short of that. We'll just stick with the noses at first. Here's A121. I'm going to compare the nose just side by side with this guy just to see how different they are. So, you know, a little bit of, you know, your typical Elijah Craig notes, but it's kind of hidden by some oak and the rest of those flavors are turned down. It's not that bold, bright Elijah Craig notes. You know, what you're used to getting with Elijah Craig, it's not it. A121, it is. It's a little bit, you know, a little more there. It's a little bit more what I would expect Elijah Craig to be. Not my favorite by any means, but at least it does remind me of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof alcohol forward a batches tend to be a little more alcohol forward and, and this one definitely is but at least that's what i expected it to be so and then on the nose for b520 so we're going way back we're going way back to the 2020. there you go that's exactly what you want especially side by siding them night and day difference you know the b520 is just so bold so full of flavor it's just jumping out of the glass it punches you in the face with flavor the b you go back to it especially off the heels of b520 you go to 521 no it ain't there it's just not what you expect it to be i don't know maybe maybe i'm just being a little too hard on the nose you know let's get in the palate let's see what this dude has to offer That is so drying. You know, typically, Elijah Craig notes are just so bold and bright, totally mouth-coating. This is just drying my tongue. The back of my tongue is just sapped of all moisture. It's as if I chewed on a log or something. This is more in the realm of, like, Elijah Craig 18. So if you've ever had that one, you know that kind of drying, 
bitter oak. There's a bitter oak note on this that is t overtaking the rest of the notes that are there. So those Elijah Craig notes that I'm looking for, they are just hidden in the corner. They're there. I can see them peeking at me, but they are so turned down and so hidden by this overwhelming bitter oak. It's kind of off-putting. It, it kind of makes me mad. And I don't like to be mad when I'm drinking Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. The proof on this is very evident. It is so light. You would not think that you're drinking Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Again, we have this expectation of what Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is. We're used to it being super high proof, just super bold, super in your face, a kind of aggressive. The people who love it, that's what we want. We want just high proof, full of flavor. This is opposite. This is kind of low proof, which not is not necessarily a bad thing, but when you're sacrificing those flavors that we're used to, I would say that's a bad thing. Let's compare the palette. This is A121. Little bit of that peanut butteriness. Flavors that I would expect from an Elijah Craig batch. The proof is definitely kind of in your face on that one. Way more. I mean, it is so different from the uh, B521. The B batch, soft, non aggressive, very, very low proof drinking. I mean, it was pretty, it went down like water, especially compared to this batch, which was just loud all over your tongue, in your face. I think the A batch is a little bit too alcohol forward. Again though, it's at least kind of in the realm of what I expect Elijah Craig batches to be. The A batch, the A121, was probably my least favorite batch going into this round, like before having the B521. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it was kind of just lacking compared to the previous batches I've had before it. Um, and then this B batch is even a step further down the ladder, so I would say wherever you place A121, whatever rung on the ladder you place it, then the B match is probably a little bit lower. So if you placed it really high, then you know, maybe you'll still really like the B batch, but if you were disappointed with A121, then you know, I hate to break it to you, and I hate to say it, I didn't think I would ever say it, but the B521 might disappoint you more. All right, this is the nail in the coffin. B520, so last year's B batch. That's it. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for in Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Those notes are just so vibrant. Intense, intense caramels just flood your mouth. I mean, it's just so bright, so bold tons and tons of this peanut butter note that I absolutely love and I'm just lacking that in this year's B batch just what I expect kind of that bar that has been set by previous batches that's that's the standard that is what I just expect that's what I'm hoping for every time I go back it doesn't make me mad I'm not mad I'm just disappointed no contest um, I'm sorry, I hate to say it, and I hate to be negative, especially, I mean, I wanted it to not be true. I watched these other channels, I've watched their videos, I didn't want it to be true, but it does not lie. Especially when you side-by-side -side them, it's no comparison, man. The B521 to me, that oak thing that's going on, it's very prevalent on the nose, it's very prevalent on the palate, it's drying, very drying on the back of the tongue. You know, those bold, bright flavors. Uh, just take any of your favorite Elijah Craig batch. You know just how bright and in your face, how full-bodied it is. Just coats your tongue. All those flavors are just so, they're so loud. They're cranked up to 10. So that's my hot take on this. It's kind of um, the first Elijah Craig batch that I've kind of been just disappointed with. You know, I don't know if the, it's the proof whatever caused the proof to be so low, if they purposely got it down that low, but if it was the environmental factors that caused the proof to be that low, I think those same factors had a negative impact on what's in it. If it's Heaven Hill screwing with my beloved Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, I don't like that kind of thing. I think you need to look at other year's batches and see what you think of them. Especially, I think you need to take A121. If you've tried that, if you have that, you need to ask yourself, what do I think of that one? If you say, yep, that's my least favorite batch, um, I really didn't care for it, you know, this B521 might 
be even lower than that batch. So just go into it knowing that. If you're going to get it regardless, just know. Just know going into it, you know, it might disappoint you just a little bit. If you're someone who kind of listens to the reviews, I would urge you to kind of go listen to the other people's videos. I've seen multiple reviews already. Go watch theirs. Kind of see the similarities between notes, because everyone's palette's different and we interpret things different, but when people start giving the same note, the same similar note that they say, yeah, there's a strong whatever on this, uh, you know, there might be something to it. So go watch some other videos, really formulate your opinion whether you should uh, spend money on this bottle. You know, the prices of these are going up too, which is kind of scary because the price goes up and I feel like the quality of this one in particular kind of went down. So, all right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I hate giving negative reviews, I really do, but you just need to go into this one forewarned, you know, just, just know you could actually not like this batch. So thanks for watching guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to be notified when I drop other videos, when I go live. Check out all the links in the description guys. I have discount codes to end of the AM. I have merch of my own. We have a Patreon page, tons of cool merch, glasses, all kinds of exclusive rewards. So check out all the links in the description guys. And until next time guys, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shoot it straight. What the heck are you doing, Heaven Hill?